OnStar has been around for over 15 years, delivering safety and security peace of mind services to um, our customers. Um, we started with this simple app that's where you hit the OnStar blue button to get routing instructions to where you're going. If you're in a crash, we're going to send help automatically. Or if you need just emergency help, you press that red emergency button and we're going to provide help to our customers. And we've been doing that for 15 years and it's been uh, working well for us. And so we know customers are um, wanting to use apps. And you know we want to make sure if they're going to use apps, they're going to use them safely while driving in the vehicle. And so we're giving um, app developers the opportunity to take their app and put it in a GM vehicle so that they can do command and control from the screen that's in these new GM products that are coming out um, and exercise control of the app that's running on their smartphone. Um, we're providing an SDK that allows the app to run resident inside the smartphone. We're also giving them an opportunity to run it within the framework of the um, vehicle electronics and so um, and then they can bring in content through the smartphone um, which is really exciting I think it gives these developers you know the developers choice on how they want to do it or if they want to do it both ways because they both um, have merits on how you do it my group actually developed the remote link app and we chose two platforms Android and uh, Apple um, it's um, available on both but right now we're looking at HTML5 and we're actually developing an app to run in HTML5 and that's why we chose that framework for the vehicle. And so, you know, as HTML5 is the emerging standard for right once deployed to many, we think that we developed, we've chosen the right technology, the right OS for the framework within the vehicle so that it does, um, you know, it isn't such a, a, a non-knowable or, you know, it is a very common framework for these developers to work with. We studied a lot of the very common ones that are out there and I probably shouldn't get into all the nuances about why and, you know, what, what was the, the issues with uh, Android or Apple or, um, you know, other ones that are out there. But HTML5 just seemed to be the emergent one that was that was um, standing out in terms of what is coming next, in terms of uh, what is a common platform that all app developers should, should, uh, would be embracing. And so it, be, it actually was more of a no-brainer than anything else um, to choose that technology. When you get into a vehicle, um, in a GM vehicle with these next generation infotainment systems, we're going to have an app store that is going to show you the apps that will run within the GM vehicle. Um, we have to wall it off because we cannot just have it as the Wild West going on inside the vehicle. I mean, there's, there's, there's expectations that the vehicle's going to work and we don't want people coming in and bringing our operating system to its knees. So we're going to make sure there's a good certification process associated with the point and app that's out there. Um, and also when you get in a, ve a GM vehicle with that screen and there's an app on that screen, as you are looking through you know, your different radio, you're looking at AM, FM, XM, and then all of a sudden you see the Pandora app, you go, boy, I think I would like to run Pandora. I think we're going to have a really good, easy time with bringing content to life for our customers and apps to life for our customers. Um, and I think app developers should be really excited about trying to work with us because there are a lot of eyes going to be in these screens and in, in, in the products in the coming years. I think creativity is going to be, I think we're going to really challenge the app community to do things that they are not accustomed to do because we're going to actually provide them a rich set of APIs from the vehicle. We're starting with about 20, but then it's going to morph into like 200 APIs of all kinds of information about your braking systems, to your odometer, to your tachometer, to your speedometer to diagnostic information going on inside the vehicle. All of this data is going to be available to these app developers. And so think of the enormous you know, creative minds coming up with apps around the drivability of a vehicle that, that, could, that could surface um, as we, as we uh, you know, enable this SDK. About four or five months ago, we launched the FMV product for my vehicle. So there is an aftermarket OnStar product that is available to our customers in North America. Um, and we're seeing it um, being installed on a lot of non-GM vehicles, obviously. Um, and it's doing very well in the marketplace. So I think that um, 
you know, OnStar has, uh, you know, has the ability to, you know, as an aftermarket product to, get, to be expanded. Um, and then I, I think that there's enough GM vehicle volume that's out there as we talk about app developers working within the GM vehicles, uh, not only here in North America but globally as well, that I think we're going to have a, a fairly significant number of uh, opportunities to come up with some creative apps with um, you know, some of the brightest minds in the industry.